exclusive. I don't have, I don't even have a storyline. I'm just, you, where, where's the party at? You tell me where the, okay. I get, you make up my little self and go to the party, you know? So this for me was the ideal way to come into the, uh, to the franchise. Did you know you were going to be a friend of like in the beginning, like before filming? Cause sometimes you don't, you film and then they tell you at the end. Oh no, no, no. I knew. Yeah. I knew they told so you me. Now. So I absolutely knew. Yeah. So, right. That was a good way just to kind of get, you know, a little bit, you know, a blessing. What do you keep in touch with anyone from Hollywood X is like yes. Shana Mokler. I know Mighty oh. was on it. Hollywood, yes. I mean, all the ladies and I are very friendly. Um, the most friendly right now is the one that I see the most, I should say, or communicate with the most is Shamika. Shamika Lawrence. Shamika is getting married next month. Oh, wow. September and I am in the wedding. So I'm really looking forward to, um, to, to, to being a part of, you know, uh, that celebration with her and that chapter of her life. But yes, I love all the ladies. At least you knew a little bit what to expect, you know, with this whole experience. But not. <laughs> but not. There were times, David, where I was like, I was literally, it was like I had to remember that I'm actually here filming. You're not home. You're not watching this. Not like you put some virtual reality. You are here. And it was like, because I was just like, like, like sitting with my mouth open, just the way I do at home sometimes with the shenanigans. And it was just like, are you kidding me? And one of the things with Garcella, I would always say to her is what the hell, what the hell you don't got me into woman? What were, and that's our little thing. What the hell we laugh, you know, but yeah, it's, 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 it's on a whole other level. And you weren't disappointed at all. Like in the beginning when they said like, guess what? You're just going to be a friend that you were actually elated elated that for me and I think they thought you know I mean they, they probably thought that would be disappointing because I was like no it's perfect I said oh, this is great I was I was so grateful for that yeah do you think you know like you we, we know you were on Hollywood X's and you know you've said it many times like you mentioned Jada we all know you're Will Smith's ex do you think like for you because you were kind of in this world of Hollywood like you you know, we're married to a major A-list actor. Like you've been around this. Do you think that helped as opposed to some people that come into this, you know, when they have a camera for the first time? I mean, it helped me, you mean personally? Yeah, like that you were kind of used to this, you know, like you've been with people that are ultra famous and there's cameras everywhere. And like, you know, I think some people get to the camera and they're like, oh, wow, this is the yeah. big time or whatever. Yes. Well, um, it's funny because no, I, I, I've, I haven't been around like in that life. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm indirectly, I mean, that's their life. That's not my life. So right. that's not the norm for me. Now, what I think the advantage of uh, uh, the advantage is I've met a lot of people. I know a lot of people, so I'm not, I'm not easily impressed, meaning, you know, I'm not going to get in a like, oh my God, and lose myself because I've, I've, I've been in it for a while. So that was good because I'm protected from that, you know, from, from, from letting it take over because it really can take over your life, you know? So I want to be in it, not of it. And it's very easy to become of it. And there's a saying, it's crazy. Because let me tell you, I was feeling myself a little bit. I got to tell you about this. <laughs> tell, tell me. So I, I debuted, I, either it was, because um, last week was the ninth episode. So that was my second time on camera. Right. I think it was, I think it was last Wednesday's show. And this, the, they love the let's to, to setting a bitch straight. We did a little toast, Garcelle and I, and they love that. So the next morning I'm up, I'm reading all all the stuff. I'm like, oh my God, they're loving me. This is awesome. And I started to feel it in a way that I didn't think was healthy. You know, it was very, very subtle, but I had to check myself because although I'm very grateful, you know, extraordinarily grateful for the people that are supportive and are saying nice things, you know, but I also know that those are the people in a flash that can turn on you and say the wrong things, you know, or say damaging, hurtful things. So if you fall for the, this is a, an expression that I've never forgotten. If you fall for the cheers, you'll fall for the jeers. So the same people that have built you up will tear you down. So I think you have to approach it with a very, very healthy mindset, you know, and I'm grateful that I feel like I'm in the space to do that. 
That's good. I agree with all of that. I mean, I talk about these concepts here all the time, like the concept of fame and how it changes people. And I mean, I agree with all of that Yeah. because no one knows you. So the cheers, although they might feel great, it's not someone that truly knows you as a person. And I agree with you as we're seeing this season with some other people, they will, which we'll get into in a second, like they will turn on you in a dime. In a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. And yeah. you found after this, like, you know, cheers with Garcelle and the next morning, you felt like you were going down that road for a minute of like, for a feeling second, yourself. yes. A girlfriend of mine said, oh, you're trending a little bit on Twitter. Now, not trending. I, you know, I'm not real. I'm, uh, Instagram is my social media of choice. But now I'm starting to get back on Twitter. And I said, what? I said, okay. And then you kind of like, well, all right. You know, and it's good. It's good to kind of, you know, feel good about yourself. But I, again, there's a fine line between, you know, and I was like, no, I don't want to. I had to check myself because I felt myself falling a little bit. And I said, okay, just bring it back. Be grateful, but bring it back because it could change next week. <laughs> right. And you're still the same person, but that's good for you for like having that ability to realize that. Yes. I, I do a lot of work, David. I do. I, I do. I'm always about, you know, um, growing and evolving and, and becoming more aware and more conscious and you know just just being the best version of myself that I can be and giving myself grace in the process. Did you have any reservations in joining the show? Like you know once Hell you yes absolutely absolutely it was cr- Garcelle reached out to me and said hey um, I'm going to give the casting director your information. And I was like, for what? I'm not doing reality, but I just responded, thanks, girl. So I said, okay, when she calls me, I'm just going to, you know, respectfully decline. I don't want to do reality. I've done it, been there, done, just don't want to do it. And I was like, well, wait, like, it was almost like my inner self, my, my, the, my spirit said, you don't even have anything to turn down. Like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute, that's wisdom. That's wise. Like, why would I say no right now? And because maybe the end product, just have the conversation. So I had the conversation and then they a green light to go further and to meet with the executives. And I said, it might not be reality. It just might be, you know, who I meet along the way or an experience or maybe somebody I'm supposed to impart kind words or something into who knows, but it was like, at least be in a position to turn it down. So anyway, so go through all the, you know, the whole, the process and now it's a waiting game. And I remember praying meditation. And I asked, I said, God, please take this cup from me. I said, I do not want to do reality. And that was my prayer. And then it became, gosh, dang, I'm supposed to do this. I know I'm supposed to do it. And 